Look at this. He threw in this little Coke ball. What? It's a ball of Coke. Good morning to all, and to all a good morning. Baby, do you know where my hat is that I was wearing? The middle kid of one? It's time for me to go to the dentist. To see Dr. Poon. Erin's also going to see her Dr. Poon today. Yep, different kind of Poon. <laughs> a real kind of Poon. She's getting a wax. <laughs> First time going to the dentist since March 2020. I went right before the pandy. And I remember, where the hell is my hat? And I remember being like, so excited because we were so close to getting married. I was asking the doctor about how to whiten my teeth and all this stuff because we were about to get married. What did he say? He said that I had to bleach them. You wanna bleach your teeth? You wanna bleach your teeth? Paris has to go to the dentist in a week or two. She has stinky teeth. Yeah, her teeth are so bad. It's because no one took care of your teeth when you were a baby. So they're in the condition of an old lady's teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Paris. Good kisses. Oh. No, she's gonna bite. She's she said, in a, no, you're abandoning us. She's in a bitey mood. Tell them, everyone, I say hi. She said that because it's Cinco de Mayo, you have to bring her a margarita. Oh, well. That's how I know that if the appointment gets messed up, it's on my Congratulations. Oh, thank you. You're a merry man now, huh? Yep. Yeah. Alright, I just got done with uh, Dr. Poon, got a clean bill of health, my teeth are looking good. I did have some like calculus build up, uh, it's, uh, uh, bottom teeth, but he said there's nothing I can really do about it. It's from the minerals in my saliva and has nothing to do with my how I brush or anything like that. I just need to come back every six months and get it cleaned out. I'm gonna go home for a minute, eat some food, and then Aaron and I are getting a pedicure. I've only had one pedicure in my life. It was pretty great. She was going and uh, I was like, why not? Why not? Hello skinny legends, I have a PR box here that I'm very excited about. Look at this, got some Laker stickers, LA baby. Okay so this, you guys might have seen this on Nolan's story but this company called Old School Hats sent me a PR box. If you, if you guys want an old school hat you can go to their website oldschoolhats.com and use the code TJ to get 10%, to get 10 bucks off. Not 10%, 10 bucks. Let's see what we got here. We got the pinstripe. Look at this one. Grateful Dead and Coors Light. And this is like a nylon hat. Like this is so fire. Fire. Fire guy. Look at this. He threw in this little Coke ball. What? It's a ball of Coke. Look at this guy, Euro Disney. This is sick. This is like a wool hat, Euro Disney. I love this one. Very cool. And how can you go wrong with the Miller Time hat? I love a like a vintage beer hat. Remember last summer Miller sent me like a PR box? Yeah. Oh my god, cute that Disney hat. I know. I love these. This is great. <gasps> oh my god, cute. Where did you get these? I got them from old school hats. The Coors Light one is so cute. Yeah, so if you guys want to get some old school hats, you can go to oldschoolhats.com and use the code TJ for 10 bucks off. So good. 
Baby, did you know that my first word when I was a baby, do you know what it was? What was it? Hat. Oh. Hat on. I wanted the hat to be on. Oh my God. First thing I ever said. Hat on. <laughs> Not even like mom or dad. Nope. Hat on. That is so cute. I don't and know. I love hats. Like, you know I have so many hats. Yeah. <laughs> it reflects you. Hat on. You look really pretty. Thank you so much. I'm in, uh, I'm in Highland Park, which is a neighborhood in East Los Angeles. I'm about to go to one of my favorite vintage stores. I haven't been thrifting in a super long time because of the pandemic. I've pretty much just been finding all of my clothes on Depop. This is one of my favorite stores in LA. They have a couple locations. I really like this location. And I'm hoping they have some good stuff because I think a lot of people have been cleaning out their closets and all that kind of stuff during the pandemic. So let's go see what we can find. car I only found one shirt they had a lot of good stuff but I didn't, none of it like really spoke to me I feel like a lot of the vintage shirts that I have mean something to me like they I it's hard to describe a lot of them or like place where they fit in my life but it really has to like hit me off the rack where I'm like oh I want that for me to get it I found this shirt and I can't believe I found this because this is like the second vintage piece I've found from this specific moment in my childhood in the past couple weeks. So this is a shirt from Opryland Hotel. If you guys haven't been there, it's this amazing hotel in Nashville. My family used to go there every year for Thanksgiving. Like we didn't really go to Disneyland or anything growing up, like maybe once or twice, but we went to Nashville every year. That's kind of where I fell in love with music and we always stayed at the Opryland Hotel. And I just bought a hat, like a vintage hat off of Depop that says Opryland. So I saw this shirt, this Opryland Hotel shirt on the $5 rack at Bearded Beagle. Pretty cool. And then I got this from the fruit cart over there. My mouth is watering. Mango with tahini. Mmm. Oh my God, so good. All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Dingo of the day goes to Abs G11. Abs G11, thank you so much for watching the videos. Abs G11, I think I'm saying that wrong. You go girl. If you guys want a chance to be the Dingo of the day, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and leave a comment down below, and you just might be picked to be the Dingo of the next video. All right, we'll see you guys on Sunday. Bye!